Hi everybody! This is not my normal streaming and I haven't streamed in so long and I'm sorry but I finally have a little bit of time and more than that I have some peace. <laughs> There's nobody here. So they all suddenly all left to go to the beach and I didn't go. So I hope you guys are good. I am I'm good. I am really, really good. I just thought I'd give you guys a just craft and share some updates and just tell you what, what's going on in my world right now. And I think I'm going to work on this little altered. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Lucinda. How are you? This is, um, it was a surprise. It was not a planned thing. I didn't know I was going to have. Hi, Lisa. I didn't know I was going to have some time. I didn't know that I was going to have, uh, it was going to be, I've been missing you guys too. Hi, Create. Hi, Kathy. I've been missing you guys. We have no idea. I thought I'd give you guys a little life update and I have like a, this is the first time. Hi, BZ. Hi, Angela. How are you? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hi. I've missed you guys, Stacy. I really have. It has been a whirlwind. Hi, Anne. I know. Well, you know, I don't want to say that I can do it and that if I can't, and my new craft space is not really a craft space. It's just like a time. It's my little table in my corner of my bedroom. I've been missing you guys. I have really, <laughs> I have been missing you. You guys have no idea. I have really been missing you. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Sue. I have missed you guys, Carrie. It has been, my life has been a little bit of a whirlwind. So I'll, I'll chat with you and tell you all the good stuff. Hi, Jean. You guys, I didn't even know. Suddenly everyone left the house and I had some time. So I thought I'm going to take advantage of it. Hey, Scotty. Yay. I'm sorry. I didn't tell anybody. I wasn't even sure if I was going to get to do it. So today I'm going to work on, I'm going to, I haven't had any, I've had very little crafting time, but I have managed uh, to work on this book a little bit. This is a, just an altered book that it was where I did my paint roll offs and um, it was a, I think it was either a one minute money manager or who moved my cheese. Um, and it's one of those like super cheap books. Hey, Amber. I'm so happy to see you guys. So anyway, I've had, I've been working on it a little bit, not much. The only other crafting I've done is for that. Hi, Chris. Hey, Lynn. You guys, thank you for showing up. I haven't seen you guys in so long. I've missed you. You have no idea. So, oh, you were thinking about me, Jean. I've been missing you guys. Hi, Patricia. I've been missing you guys. You have no idea how much. Hi, Ash. Oh, Ash, I'm so happy to see you. I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Clara. Oh, gosh, you guys, I've missed you guys. My house is like, I have, it's full-flown packed. I have company and all of my kids and their spouses and it's just been a lot and I don't have a crafting space anymore anymore yet <laughs> until they leave posted you posted oh Kathy you know what I didn't know I was gonna go live so what happened was I have company and they all decided to head to the beach and you guys I'm as I'm so pale that I can't go in the heat of the day even though I've lived in Hawaii for a good long while I can't go in the heat of the day because I just I burn so I let them all go family first yeah definitely Jean definitely so if you guys want to craft along get anything you know you could make your ATCs or you know the, this is a a fun way to use up your scraps and just a fun way to just I don't know play you know I made this book and then I, it was my paint roll off book and I put some it has some bits in the back I made two pockets and I just stuffed cool things in there as I went along um, and I'm gonna work on that quick lock the doors oh Sue you have no idea it's like actually <laughs> oh, oh Ash the joy's real for me it's real huh Vicky how are you guys Guys, I've missed you. You have no idea. So without making my life, I, if I, I've had some uh, really wonderful, hilarious times, and then I've also had some like really stressful times lately with the 
just a lot of just ridiculousness, but I'm happy to be here with you guys. <laughs> I'm line up around the little box and tell them, yeah, you guys are too funny. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here with me. Thanks for showing up. I was like, maybe nobody, maybe everybody's forgot about me and nobody will show up and hang out with me, but I'm so glad you guys did. And please now, I've missed you guys. You have no idea. So I'm going to work a little bit in my book. Um, and my company is here until the beginning of September and hopefully I'll be able to have a little bit more time. You know, like one, she's the person visiting me is one of my dearest, dearest friends and I love her tremendously and I so enjoy spending time with her and her beautiful son and it's been so nice but you guys like I have my own chisel going on you know what I mean and it's like hi Jess I have missed you guys I have missed you missed you missed you <laughs> you forgot me no way <laughs> oh, well good I'm glad oh, I would appreciate it thumbs up so um I have to tell you, making these altered books is a little addictive and really fun. How are you, Patricia? I love, I, I have been trying to catch some of your videos, you guys, not much. I haven't had much time, um, I've had actually had no downtime. You guys know how I love my English, um, my English television series or whatever, the, the English channel series. I've watched zero. My hottie was saying to me today, he was like, um, you must be having withdrawals from your English television. He was making fun of me. I haven't watched anything. All I've just been doing is family and stuff. Oh, Jess, I love you guys. So as you can see, I got overzealous with this book. I don't know how clear. My new setup is not optimal, you guys. I'm definitely um, jonesing to figure out something better. So I don't want you to see how this book is just pulled apart. You guys, it happens when you work on it a lot. Don't freak out. You know, just use some masking tape and paint over it, you know, or glue it if you feel if you want to glue it. You know, I think for me, do some of you guys like get so caught up in the preciousness of your project that when something like fails, like you rip it, then you're like, oh, now it's ruined. You know, the greatest thing about, you know, making altered book or books or mixed media art is that there's no rules. Hi, Malia. Oh, I, I don't know. You know, hi, Pearl. I don't know how long I'm going to stay on. I'm going to stay on until they all come home and it gets too loud. How's that? You guys, I so forgot what it's like to witness um, the early morning wake-ups of young children. Now, even though I do have a, a, a um, you know, my youngest daughter's, she'll be 12 this week. She's having a birthday. Um... My friend, and, and also they're jet lagged because they're coming from the East Coast. My friends, my poor friend, her little boy gets up at like 2 and 3 in the morning because he's on East Coast time. So, <laughs> the joys of parenting, you guys, never gets old. It is nice to have my friends here, though. But I will say to you guys, it's, um, it makes you real, for me, it makes me realize how short my life, how, um, how short time is, you know, and how important it is to, to hang out and be with the people that you love. It really is. Your necklace lady gets a pacemaker tomorrow. Oh, we'll put her in the woo-woo. We'll definitely do some woo-woo tonight. So if you guys want to hang out and do some woo-woo, I, I, we're definitely going to do it. I have had, I'll tell you some kind of personal stuff going on with me that about, just about spirituality and awakening and stuff like that. So for me, you know, I just can only be right where I am and I'm not really good at, um, I used to be ter terrifically wonderful at multitasking and now I'm realizing that being fully present in myself is a task all onto itself. You know, I used to think that I needed to get like 25 million things done and um, and I did, you know, and I really pushed myself. So with all the stuff that's going on with me, I have sort of had this, for the lack of a better word, um, epiphany that I've had this epiphany that being present 
within myself and not thinking that I have to do 50 things at once, actually, for me, opens up this energetic world of peace. And if I just take it one moment at a time, instead of, you know what's, what it's like with kids, you're always planning, um, that it's better. Especially in, especially in my, especially in my stress time. Jean's right. Jean says that's the only way to be in the moment and there's nothing other than that. Yes, Jean. And so for me, hey, Pearl. So for me, even though I know that, oh, you're having trouble hearing me. Okay, well, I don't know if I, you guys, I haven't streamed in so long. Let me see if I can figure out the thing. So for me, I'll make sure everything's turned up, Scotty. Hold on. So for me, you know, like, um, it's been sort of a, it's been a challenge. It's been a real challenge. Not that I can't be in the moment, but just staying present in it. Does that make sense? Am I like making sense to any of you guys or is it, or, or is that, I turned it up, Scotty. Is that better? Is that better, Scotty? Can you hear me better? Jessica saying being in, being in the moment has been the subject of your whole week. So I'll, I'll share with you. Um, I'll share with you what I've been going through. What? What about? Oh, I didn't. What? Sue Sue's finishing up an auction preview. What? I missed it. Um, so I'll tell you what happened this week. And so it's going to sound kind of weird. Maybe it's going to sound silly, but anyway, it is a struggle. Ash is saying it's really a struggle when you, especially we have kids. It is, but you know what I'm trying to do is do like the best of both worlds. So what I'm trying to do is use the technology that I have at hand, which is my iPhone, putting every appointment in it and asking it to give me a reminder the day before. And then after I've put it in, I'm letting it go. Who cares? Auction is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, you guys. It tells you how out of it am. Cares? To, oh, I didn't know. You guys, I didn't look at anything on YouTube. I just turned on my camera. Oh, I wish I, I'm sorry. Tell her I love her. You guys, please try and support her artist, um, her disability, her disability, disabled artist foundation. I was going to, I had all these plans to send her some stuff and make some stuff and I haven't had any time, none, like zero extra time. So back to my, um, living in the moment thing. So I'm trying to use technology better, like using my iPhone or my Google calendar and I'm putting in the multiple doctor's appointments that we have. Uh, school things and all the school started here and all the other things and then I'm letting it go. I am letting it go because I was finding that my worry I was like worrying I like I would be like did I miss something did I, and I just have to let it go and sometimes things fall through the cracks because I'm not up on my game. I've been finding that the more emotional stuff I've been going through um especially with my daughter, the less I'm on my game, you know, the less I feel like I'm, and so I've just had to let myself be in the emotion, which sometimes has been a little difficult and just not worry about whether I'm just trust. And so you guys have been cutting out chairs. I've been cutting out chairs for, for, for another lovely YouTube friend. I'm going to send her some happy mail. I'm cutting out chairs when I find them. Um, Lynn, give her my love and tell her I'm sorry I didn't know that she was on. Hey, Dixie. I've missed you guys so much. You know, okay, so I don't really... Hi, Joyce. Um, I don't really want to discuss her, my littlest one's condition. I mean, I will at some point. I just can't do it yet. It's still... Every time I do, I start crying, and I just... It just... 
then it becomes that instead of, you know, being in a positive space. But I will say she is a trooper. She is, um, she has been so good. I mean, she definitely has her moments just like we all do. I like this, some washi tape. I'm going to put on the left stuff I think I might put in this book. And the one I'm not going to put in, I'm going to put back in the folder in the back. Um, but she's been better than me. You know, she's hanging in there. Yeah, Jean says, the future is only a possibility and shouldn't be planned too much. I agree. The bottom fell out for you. Oh, no. Oh, Scotty. I'm sorry. I love you. Well, I will tell you this. So, oh, no, I appreciate it. Dixie, I appreciate it so much. Ollie, I appreciate it so much. I'm just, I, I really do. It's just, it'll just get me crying, and I don't feel like that. I just, I gotta stay in a positive space. Hi, Kathy. So, the other thing I want to share with you that I've been going through, and I don't know if you guys are going through this, but I have been focusing. So, in this midst of when I've been having my own, like, worry thing, like, whatever's going on, just kind of looking for something for this page because I don't know where this book is going and what it's going to look like. So I don't have like a, and it's got, it's all over the place, but I think in the end it'll come together. Right. Um, so because of all the stuff that's been going on, I have been feeling, um, really vulnerable and feeling really sort of more fragile than normal. And I've been feeling like, um, like, you know, when, when things like that happen, you feel like your life is sort of like not in, not in your control, even though it's not in your control anyway. So what I've been focusing on is trying to stay in a space of gratitude and love. And sometimes for me, hi Janet, sometimes for me it's easy and other times it feels like pulling teeth, especially when things are like, seem like, not, you know, they seem sort of poopy. You know, do you guys ever collect things? You find them and you're just like, I really love that. And you don't even know what you'll ever use it for. Well, that's kind of how it works. Anyway, so what's happening to me is because I've sort of like been in a sort of really overwhelmed, stressful situation, I've been sort of stepping back from myself because in just watching. And as I'm sort of stepping back or pulling myself into me, I can see much more clearly other things around me. And because I'm in the moment and I'm not worrying about, I'm not distracted by next week or tomorrow or all that stuff. Or um, And I'm definitely not thinking about what I didn't do yesterday because I can't go back and fix that. You know what I mean? So I'm starting to notice energetic pet energetic patterns more, um, more in like a cycle, more in like a spiral and not necessarily in myself, but in other people, because it's always really hard to see ourselves. Lisa says, no matter what we do, we need to enjoy every day. We cannot control the future. Enjoy day. Lisa is so, so true. Thank you for that. Hi, Diane. How are you? Oh, your first time here? Oh, well, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're all happy to have you here. So what's happening, so so this friend of mine sent me a message. So in the midst of all this, like, you know, my a friend of mine from, because usually around this time of year, I go to, I try to go visit a friend who lives in South America. And she's been messaging me because I haven't gone and I haven't, like, really talked to her about things because, quite honestly, guys, I can just barely handle what's on my plate. You know, I'm, like, just doing my plate. And so... She was said, she said something so profound to me the other day. Isn't this beautiful? I do not know what magazine this came out of, but it was a regular fashion magazine. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to use that for a focal point. I don't know if I'm going to do it in this book, but definitely going to use it in something. Um, she said, she was telling me about stuff that's going on in her life. And she said this, and this is so crazy. You have to understand, she speaks Spanish, and then she also speaks really fluent English. But sometimes... 
you know, if you don't practice English all the time, you don't speak it as well. And so sometimes the things she says are like direct translations from Spanish to English kind of don't make sense, but sometimes they're incredibly profound. Oh no, Scotty. Oh, I am sending you love. I am sending you love. Hi, Kayala. How are you, Mama? Oh, Scotty. Mm. So, so maybe this will help you. Think. Okay, you guys just try to focus on your crap for a second and focus just on my crap. <laughs> Maybe you'll get what I, what happened to me, and then I, I've been a little bit better because of it. Scotty, I love you. I love you. I love you. So, um, so my friend writes me, and she's like telling me, like, and she doesn't even write me. She like sends me these voice messages, like through Messenger, which I can't figure out how to do yet because I, I don't know, whatever. I just don't. I'm not that good at it. And um, she's like telling me all this, and then she says. At the end of whatever she says is going on with her, she says, tell me what's going on in your story. And you guys, I just gasped. I was like, <gasps> tell me what's going on in your story. And I thought, oh no, wow. In other words, I'm creating my story. Now we all know we're the creators of our life, but it was just the way she said it that just like hit me like a ton of bricks. Tell me what's going on in your story. And she also said, when she said, tell me what's going on in your story, she said, um, she said, I hope you, how did she say something like, I hope you have, um, she said, I hope to have the patience to change mine. And I was like, epiphany. It was like, light bulb went off. Ding, 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 ding. Not that I don't know. I don't, I create my own life. But when she was telling me what was going on in hers, I have to tell you, it was a little bit horrific and very scary. And so when she said, I tell me what's going on in your story. What came to my mind is, you know, like, like I'm the creator of my story, right? I'm the creator of my life and I can make a choice to continue to create, to continue the creation along the line I'm working or I can change it to something else. And I was like, ding, 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 ding. And I was like, oh my gosh. And... I was like, wow. Now we all know it, but it was like, when she said it to me, it was just like, I don't know. I guess because it's not something, it's not a, how I, it's not the language I would use, right? That's not the language any of us would use. We wouldn't use, tell me the, tell me the, tell me your story or tell me, we wouldn't use that. That just wouldn't even come to us to use it. So since she said that to me, which has been, I don't know, a couple, maybe a week, maybe a little longer, I don't know. I've been watching my story as if I'm the observer of my story. Like I've been stepping back. So for instance, Scotty, and I know this may not feel any better, but, and we'll definitely put you in the woo-woo. I've been watching my story and I've been saying, okay, is this lifting me up or is this dragging me down? My, whatever my thoughts are, okay? And if it lifts me up, then I'll continue on that path. And if it's not, I'm letting it go. I'm like, okay, I'm taking this out of my story. And I, it's been, and so what I found for me is like some days I can't take it out of my story because some days it feels like some days <laughs> the story feels a little overwhelming, but when I can allow myself to just give myself permission to take it out of my story, it like, it shifts everything around me. It shifts everything around me. So so for instance, like every day, so last week or the week, before, the week before last, I was going to stream and had my, all my stuff set up. And on that day was the day Hadi decided he was going to put closet organizers. Now realize I asked him 
to put a closet organizer or to fix a closet organizer that had come apart in the ba the littlest one's closet, I don't know, six months ago. The day and time I'm sitting down preparing to do a stream or even make a video, he decides to like what sounds like a jackhammering in the closet in the room next door. So obviously I can't. Hey, Joni. So obviously I can't stream. So I was like, well, and normally I would get myself kind of upset about it because I'd be like, no, I really wanted to do that. But instead I said, okay, well, I guess I got to change my story. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got to change because the closet needed the organizer and, but it just kept on like that. Like the next thing I can't even remember what happened, but it just seemed like it, it felt like it was. I don't want to say running against, going against me, but a little, you know, and I just had to surrender into it. And, but the biggest changing of creating my story is feeling sorry for myself. It's feeling sorry for myself because I was going through all this stuff with my daughter and I was feeling really overwhelmed and I was feeling really, um, And I was feeling like, not feeling sorry for myself, but like feeling like getting myself overwhelmed. Like, have you ever been into like a medical, medical appointment and they tell you all this stuff and it's like, and you, you're there and you're present, but you're just like seeing the ripple effect in your life. And I just was like, mm. and I was, so I decided that no matter what anybody tells me, I'm going to meet it with joy and optimism. I'm going to meet it with joy and optimism. And I'm going to meet it with love. Because think about it. Any situation you meet with love melts away. And so for me, I was like, okay, so um, so I've been doing it and it's been changing all kinds of things. Like, for instance, like, um, I don't know. I, like, I really wanted to stream. I've missed you guys, um, so much and I've, and I've missed our friendships and our community and our camaraderie and I've missed it. I have missed it. I have just missed it. And I really, really wanted to stream and I didn't know how I was going to make that happen. And so today, I just met the morning and I just did, I do my morning meditation. I just sat in a space of joy and love for myself, sending joy and love to my presence first and foremost, and then sending joy and love to each and every one of you. And I always send it to all of you and you know, everyone in my life. And then I have like a list, like an inventory and I go down the list and I just say, you know, Whatever it is, I'm grateful for. Thank you for this day. Thank you for whatever. Just going through my mo moment, and I, and then I ask myself, is there anything that I need or want? And I said, you know, I'd really like to stream today. And I said, I know that's not even gonna be possible. I would really like to connect with everyone. But I just said, I'm gonna meet that energy with love and joy, and send that idea love and joy. And with that. You know, I just let it go. And then magically, you know, everybody, instead of, magically, there wasn't room for me to go in the car to the beach. So I got to do that. Does that make sense? <laughs> I missed your humor. Of course I've missed your humor. humor. You're, you're overwhelmed, Sue, or I'm overwhelmed? Love is all there is, Ash, but we forget. And we're only love, right? When what we forget sometimes. Hi, Dania, how are you? Oh, thanks, Sue. Yeah, Lisa says, we're all here to remember. Some will be worse off than us. Sometimes it does not seem possible, but it's true. True, very true. So that's what I've been going through. I mean, I've really been going through it, and I've been really grateful, like, for my time. Like, I've gotten to, I don't know if, I've gotten to work on this book intermittently and I drag it and take it with me to like the appointments. And sometimes it goes together well and sometimes it doesn't, but I don't let it bother me. And I'm just like, 
kind of enjoying working on it, enjoying the process. I'm enjoying, you know, like just being with it and not, and not worrying about it so much and not like thinking, oh, it has to be some, something I'm going to love forever. Just enjoying it for what it is. And then, you know, not, not being so, not being so judgmental with myself. <laughs> You're happy for crowded cars. <laughs> Me too, Kathy. You want to know something so funny? <laughs> you get it? You get it, Kathy? I'm glad you do. Oh, hi, Jilly. So, crafting for choice. So, you guys really laughed so hard. So, they all left, and my honey was getting ready to go to work, and, and all of a sudden, the whole house was quiet, and he was like, he was like, there's complete silence in the house, and I said, I know, and he said, he said, um, <laughs> it was so funny, he said, Wow. He said, I never, he goes, I didn't realize how noisy it's been. Hi, Jay. And um, we were just laughing. And, and, and But we were both in a space of, like, just being able to appreciate, like, the silence of where we were. You know, just, like, being able to appreciate it. So that's what I've been going through. I don't know if that was, like, too much or a little deep or, like, ridiculous. It probably was all of the above. But that's what we did. That's what I've been going through. That's what's going on in my world. Craft or joy. And cra I, who was it that said craft or cry? It was Renee. Oh, my God. I, we love our Renee. Our little red wagon, Renee. Remember, she used to say, I have to make a choice, craft or cry. I'm in craft. But I, I realized for myself that this community that we have with each other has been so important to me. And I may have missed you guys so much. You have no idea how much I've missed you. I've missed you, and I've missed... I've missed the, I know it seems so silly, but I've missed the energy exchanges that we have during this, and I've missed, I've just missed you. I, I feel like I've been missing, like, like, a part of me. This kind of sounds so silly. Somebody watching this is probably like, yeah, she's a crackpot. You can think what you want. So I'm enjoying this little book. You guys, I can't tell you not to do one because they're kind of like ridiculously addictive and they don't have to be perfect and they're obviously for no reason. So they're just for yourself. And I have calamaried so much that I've calamaried so very much that it has been like both invigorating and also like... Um, It's been, it's been invigorating, but it's also been like one of those things where you're like, if I have to go through one more box, I'm just going to throw it all out. <laughs> You've missed crafting and chit chat in my trash art. I know trash art's the only way to go. I missed you guys. Hi, Therese. How are you? So tell me what's going on in your world. So now that, now that I told you my like crazy epiphany of like, and I, you know, it's not anything new, you guys. It's not anything new. I think maybe the practice of it or... The present practice of it, I don't know, is new. I don't know what page I'm going to work on next. I, I, You know what I've been kind of doing is, like, I'll find pieces I like, I stick them in the book, and then I come back later. And every single thing from here is just, like, scraps and bits. It was None of it was good, like, stuff that you bought. I missed you guys, too. <laughs> Do you think you miss me more? I have missed you guys. I can't even tell you. It was, like... Every single day, I was like, do you think I could stream today? Okay, could I could I get in? And, and it hasn't worked out. It really hasn't. Like, I don't know. I, when they were doing some work on a house next door to me, so one day I actually had a little bit of time, and it was so loud that I couldn't even think. I couldn't. So make yourself one of these books. Uh, these are just my paint roll-offs, so that's why the colors don't go together, and they're probably not like anything anybody would really use, but it wasn't planned. And the magazine images aren't either, but I'm, um, some of them I'm really loving, and some of them, I'm, you know, I don't know. And I may go back and put some photographs on it. So maybe I get, oh, this was stuff I stuck in this book. Oh, I like all these. Maybe I'll just put them all on this page. Um, somebody asked me, like, what do you do with it? Absolutely nothing. Do with it what you want. You do with it what you want. Gloom paper in books is therapeutic, Ash. It's ridiculous, right? So, 
I have just been focusing on just trying to be, I'm focusing on falling in love with myself and I can't encourage you all more not to, more to do that. Um, you know, just falling in love with who I am and who I may be and who I'm not, right? Instead of waiting to become like something I'm not. And I have been, um, and I've been just trying to stay present, just completely, and I don't even, did I not get here with a credit card? That would be like, so guys, this is how it's going. There's no credit card. Oh, well, I don't even have a credit card. Usually I keep a, my, I don't have a workspace anymore. I'm in like the tiniest corner of my bedroom and, it, and I don't have anything else around me. Um, what did I miss you say? Good night, Dania. Big love. Yeah, you cannot, you're right. You can't always paint over what you don't like. Oh, Kathy, I love you. Thank you for saying that. I missed you guys. You didn't, I've really missed you. I've missed, I've missed, I've missed the community of all of you. I have missed our friendships. I've missed our laughing. Oh my gosh, have I missed that? Guys, I don't have a plan for any of this. I don't even know if it's all going to go on. I have really been taking, I have been, I will tell you, I have been taking some of my magazine stuff to, um, to our, to our medical appointments because sometimes they're long, the waiting, sometimes the waiting is like so long, it's like, uh, you know, and so, I don't know if it's on this side. Sometimes the waiting, some of the waiting is so long. I'm like, uh, I need something. Oh, I should have put this over. And done. Well, it's all right. It's going to be, it'll be fine. Stop judging myself. Um, some of the waiting has been incredibly long. And so I just, I've been taking like magazines and ripping them up and <laughs> I've had people ask me, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you know, they'll see me ripping up magazine pages or whatever. I'm on a tiny table in my bedroom. Isn't that terrible? But it's it's better than not having any space. Yes, I had to change my camera. You guys, my camera, didn't I tell you that Heidi tried to suspend my camera? You can't see it. So I, I could try to zoom it in if you want. Let me see if I can zoom it in. Let me see if I can zoom it in. Um... No, what happened was, is because my kids are all home and I have company, I had to move my crafting space into my bedroom. And my bedroom is really small. I told you guys I live in a tiny house. I think our house is like 700 square feet. And right now we have a lot of people living in that 700 square feet. And... And so I'm gonna, I'll try to zoom in a little bit. Let me see. So my camera angles are not good. And then I told you, didn't I tell you guys that Hottie put a hole in my ceiling trying to like, um, Hottie put a hole in my ceiling trying to, uh, trying to, put a hole in my ceiling trying to put my camera back up. And it's like ridiculous. So I don't know if that's any better or not. You craft on TV trays? Oh, okay. Well, then uh, then you get it. You get my... Is that any better or not? All my kids are home, and my oldest daughter's husband. And... Okay, what about... I didn't see the hysterical... Kathy said there's a, there's a guy who did a hysterical video of him in the doctor's office waiting for the doctor to come in. You left, you heard. I didn't see that. Lynn property here is so ridiculous. So it is. So you know what I'm, so I was crafting in my dining alcove. Okay. And my dining alcove is tiny, but my dining alcove is now, who knew, who knew a dining alcove could become a guest bedroom. So my oldest daughter and her husband put a, 
a blow up mattress in there. And there, and so all my crafting stuff, I'll just make a picture of it and you guys can see it. All my crafting stuff is gone. Like it's, it's, I have like one, I have a, some shelves in that room that, it, but now they're jam packed with stuff that used to sit around in different shelves. And anyway, you know what? I have a space. I shouldn't even say anything. I have a space. I shouldn't even say one word. I should just be grateful that I have a space. The cheapest house where you live, Lynn, is six hundred ninety-nine thousand. That's crazy, and that's eight hundred square feet. Yeah, it's probably that here. <laughs> you touched your screen when I was zooming. Oh, you're hilarious. Um, my, you know what? My house is on. Look, I love my house. It's it's a it's a it's a great house. We don't own this house. Um, we have to, we're still sort of, I mean, we've still been looking. I mean, it, it's just not the right time, but, you know, just kind of keep putting it out there. Um, but, yeah, all my kids are home, all of them, and it's really nice. You know, I feel like it's bonus years. You know, I know the little one, she, she's here for a good long while, but the older ones, they're gone. You know, like, they, they, you know, they travel. My oldest daughter... Oh, I, I'll show you guys what she brought me. I didn't eat the candy. One of the other kids ate the candy, but I'll show you. She brought me a whole bunch of really cool stuff from China. She brought me, like, some cool, and Japan. But I'll show you the one that was on my desk right here. Like, look, I saved the wrapper. It's a Snickers bar in Chinese. Is that hilarious? I loved it. I don't know what I'm going to use it in, but it's, it's pretty cool, I think. Hang on one time. Hang on one second. Anyway, <clears throat> what are you saying? Ash says, the reason she moved from Cali to Oregon was that other people were doing that too. Driving costs way up. <clears throat> so, you know, it's been, a, it's been an interesting, you know, I think it's been a really interesting uh, time. Have it, have you guys all had that sort of experience with what you're going through too? Have you guys had some interesting um, experiences of of time and and what's going on in the world for everyone? I mean, it's it's been it's definitely been an interesting time for me. Speaking for myself completely. Glowing papers are so razzle tool. If, if you guys had seen me in the doctor's office in my glue, I had like, I didn't have glue, but I had was like tearing up all these magazines. <laughs> and there was a lady in there and she was like, you sure are busy. And I, I was doing it, I think, a little probably, probably anxiety, probably a little bit anxious. I was probably having my anxiety moments, right? And then... Uh, <clears throat> but it was she was she was commenting on how busy I am. You sure you certainly are busy. <laughs> I was like, I guess I am. I guess I am busy. It's a it's eclipse season. It's eclipse season. Five planets in retrograde and Friday the thirteenth. Wow. Wow. Everybody is going through a lot. Hi Cheryl, how are you? So Scotty, we love you, and I know that this is not is not um, what you what you imagined, and I can't imagine what you're going through. But know that you're loved. That there are people here that get you, 
We get totally get you and we're here for you. And that no matter what, no matter what, everything is going to be okay. And the trust factor that we all have to, sh I mean, trust is the only thing we can do. We can only trust. Trust that we're in the right place at the right time, doing what we need to be doing for our best and highest good. And um, you know, it's 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 a very weird time. I can't. I you guys, it has been such a weird time. I will agree with all of you. It's been really difficult. You're becoming an empty nester, Julie. Um, can I tell you, I had a very, I had a very surreal empty nesting sort of experience. And it's, of course, mine's in stages because my kids are like so far apart in age that, you know, but when my oldest daughter, she's 26 now, but when my oldest daughter went to boarding school, she decided she wanted to go to boarding school for high school. Um, and it wasn't even that far away. You guys, I... I cried. It was like so sad. And I had other kids at home, but it was just like, I don't know. It was like ridiculous, but I cried. And then when she actually went off to college, I was okay. Like she, she actually took a gap year and, um, hung out with us, which was really lovely and worked and did some other stuff for herself. But, um, when she went away to college, I didn't feel so I didn't feel nearly as bad as I did when she left. Now, she was the first one to leave, so, and she was only 14, you know, boarding school. She started boarding school when she was, like, 14. So that was, like, that was difficult. And my middle daughter did something similar, but I didn't have, I mean, even though I didn't really, I was not super... It was difficult. I didn't have the same feeling of, I don't want to say abandonment, but I don't know. I didn't have the same, I didn't feel as bad. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't feel as bad, but I, I guess because I'd already been through it. You know, I'd already gone through it with my other one. Um, but I didn't have as, it wasn't as heart wrenching as when the first one left. And so when she moved to China, although I was really not, I mean, I was really knew I would be missing them. I wasn't as probably as emotional as maybe I would have been. So, but I get it. It's a real thing. It is so real. And I don't know what people think. Like, I don't know. One of my friends told me I needed to get over it. And I thought, well, okay, thank you for that. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that advice. Get over it. <laughs> like, when is anybody ever telling you to get over something that's ever worked? Not for me. Not for me. Maybe maybe one of you guys, maybe somebody else, it's, it's helped, but it hasn't helped me. So. You went to boarding school when you at 14, and it was the end of, you know, it was a great experience for my daughter. It was a great experience for both of them. Can I tell you? I'm definitely not sending the little one. She's not that. She's not the boarding school type. Um, she did start school, you guys, and she's going to Montessori school, and she is loving it. She is loving it. She is so loving it. It was like every single day she comes home, ask her how her day was, and it gets like terrific. Or what did I get the other day? I got, or I had the best day ever. Or um, I don't know. It's been really, it's been really wonderful watching her grow and expand and meet new people. And it's been a great experience for her. So I'm super happy for her and she's really loving it. So that was one thing that we did. We started Montessori school. What else have we done? You guys, I feel like I've lived a lifetime. Does anybody ever else ever have that feeling? Like you feel like that you've lived a lifetime, like you've been, like 
like in the few weeks or whatever you've been away, it's like it feels like it's been forever. Um, what else is going on? I'm trying to think. Um, my twenty-year-old daughter started massage school, and can I tell you that has been an amazing thing, and um, she's doing really, really well. So she's in massage school, and my oldest daughter's back for a minute before they go to Greece. I don't know how long. I hope she stays a while, but I don't know how long. You know, it's like just letting go, letting go my expectations. Yeah, new school and medical condition. It's been a life, Jilly. Oh, she's enjoying it. She's so happy. Jillian saying, hey, Jillian, how are you? And she's in, she is enjoying it, Ash. She is practicing on me. Cassandra, it has been awesome. She is practicing on me. I have to tell you, she's practicing on me. Um... Julianne says she's doing okay with the empty nest, but her youngest was, youngest was cut ties in there. Oh no. Julianne, you know what? I can understand how difficult it is. I, all I can tell you is, you know, everybody has their own story. And like my friend was telling me, you know, it's like, she, when she was telling, talking to me about, you know, that's my story, I was like, whoa. I was like, okay, so sending you so much love and light. It's a hard thing, you know? I, I don't know. I, I think, I know for myself, I had these ideas of what my family would be like. And, of course, it was not anything like my ideas were. And I also had, like, um... I don't want to say I had a need to make it like that, but I definitely had, um, when it didn't kind of fall into the line alignment of what my expectations were, I felt hurt and disappointed, but I've let it go because I've realized that, you know, they're on their own journey and me wanting it to be different is not going to make it so, and I've just tried to live with it. And some other things have been sort of painful as a parent. I'm hanging in there. Massages are a great profession. You've been a massage therapist for 30 years? Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. Well, you know, she's had, she has not known what she wanted to do. And um, she has been faced with more of a, she's the kind of person, like, my middle daughter had, like, a job when she was, like, really young. Like, before you, I don't think you can work here legally until you're like 16, but she, when she was like 13, she found a place that would hire her, <laughs> and, she, and uh, she was working, like, she is a go-getter like that, and so she's been working, you know, like, you know, she went to boarding school, she did all three things, she's been working for the past couple of years for other people, and I think for her, she realized that, um, that she just wanted to be her own boss, so... I love these little rabbits. Aren't they cool? I don't know if I'm going to put them on this page, but I like them a lot. I don't know what this came from. You guys, how many of you guys are, like, finding yourself collecting, like, odd bits of paper and you just don't even know what to do with it? Oh, thanks, Lisa. I loved you. I love you guys. I've missed you guys so much. You have no idea. So, the massage therapist for 30 years, though, you have to share your experience with us about it because I'm going to tell her. She really, I mean, she's like loving it. She's taking all sorts of things. I think right now they're just doing, um, I don't know, some Swedish right now, and I think some Lomi Lomi, which is a Hawaiian style massage. You guys, my neighbor's gonna turn on his motorcycle. This is how my life has been. And the dog is gonna bark too. So. The dog has decided she is going to bark because my neighbor's turning on his motorcycle. All right, let me look through this pile of stuff and see what I have here. Kier, how are you? I missed you so much, and I'm sorry I didn't know you were streaming. If I'd known you were streaming, I would have waited or whatever. Honestly, I didn't even know I was going to stream. It was like suddenly I had the house to myself, and it was like, hopefully the guy's not going to do his, and he's right outside my bedroom. Hopefully he's going to move on. 
not stand out there with his motorcycle, I hope. Um, I wasn't planning on streaming. There was no plan on my part. So it was like everybody's left, and so I'm just going to do it like that. Uh, tomorrow's your, I'll try to be there for your auction tomorrow, Kara. I'm going to do my best. You guys go over to the Disable Artist Foundation, Inc., and uh, maybe Scotty can put the link in the description box for you guys, and um, or Lynn can, and you guys can go over and make sure you support her. I had this grandiose vision, Kara. I was going to make you a really great journal. I didn't get it done. I got all the pieces together to make a journal, but I didn't get the journal made. So maybe for your next one, when you have another one auction, I will have it. Um, I'll have it together. And I could have it together to do something else. What about just a cigar box? You, you donated a cigar box. I love you too. I missed you guys. You have no idea. Um, what was I going to, what else was I going to tell you? Let's see what else. Well, the calamari thing has been going really well. I mean, I have really calamari, you guys. I have calamari beyond what I thought I could calamari. And that in itself has been a wonderful experience of like really seriously letting go like of stuff that I, as you can see, my pages have no rhyme or reason and Sometimes, this one I had saved all these black and white images and I loved it. Um, and sometimes, some of them are better than others because some of them I really like. like I loved these shoes. I didn't know what I was going to do with them. I had them in my stash. Thanks, Cheryl. Melissa says, yeah, she has ice cream boxes full of bits and trash and junk. Yep. Me too. Because I have bits and trash and junk. And I have let go of a lot of it, though. And I'm proud of myself, you know? It's like, because I know it'll all come back. This page needs more, but I haven't found any more green. I found some, like, green. Maybe I'll look for my stuff and see if I have any. found some green bits. I liked it. I liked the green. So what is everybody making it? What's it? What's on your crafty table? Tell me what's on your crafty table. Bes and besides, whatever if you're working on something for a donation for care. Oh, Lynn is saying that you can do some absentee bids, and you can. They need them to send the absentee bids to help at disabledartist.org. Help at disabledartist.org. And for those that are watching this in a live in a in a recording. Um, the auction will be held on the 20th of August. And so if it's after the 20th of August, um, I wouldn't, um, you can always go over to the Disabled Artist Foundation, Inc. and, um, and check out when their next one is. Or go to CARE, or CARE's YouTube channel, which is CARE. C A R E art. And she has lots of cool videos on her disabled artist foundation. Okay. How many of you guys signed up for the free magazines on the, what is the name of the, the group you guys? I can't even think right now. My head cannot think. Okay. It's, it's August 20th at 2 PM Eastern time. And it's going to be on cares YouTube channel care art. And, um, after this, when I post this as a video, I'll put it, in the link in the description box below. But if you if it's after August 20th, um, 2 p.m. Eastern, you can also go to her channel and find out um, find out more about where you can support the Disabled Artist Foundation. Hi, Rosie. I'm happy to see you. Hi, Arlene. Welcome, welcome. Recycle Bank. So I have gotten the best Recycle Bank magazines, okay, but my favorite for collaging, and I don't know, besides, Karen and I both got Cosmopolitan, but that's a little bit too, I don't know, it's good for women images, it's good for raunchy words, <laughs> but my favorite is this L Decor, 
I mean, I love it. Like, I love these patterns and stuff in here. Like, each one of them is such a rich, they have some really great things in this L Decor. This is my favorite one. I mean, I have a lot of ones that I get, but I love this. Like, any of these would be good, good bits and pieces for collage. So go over to Recycle Bank and you get free magazines. You're doing your scavenger handbook and you're giving it to your part, your person the 1st of September. Joyce, are you still here? Is Joyce still here? I'm out of focus. I'm out of focus. Okay. Um, okay. Let me, mixed media altered book is on your table. Let me see. Am, is anybody else seeing me out of focus? It looks fine on my screen. It looks fine on my thing. So, Rob and Calamari and like nobody's business. Malia says she's making her own journal right now. It's been a very, it's been a very spiritual experience. It is, isn't it? So I can't wait to see your mixed media book, My Fairy Treasures. You have to make sure you let us know you're doing. I get lots of magazines from Recycle Bank, but I have to say to take them apart for the collage images. I love this. Um, and then I get HCG, HCHG TV magazine, which is good too. They have some really good, because like this piece would be a great piece for, I'll pick this one out. This one would be a great little piece for, for maybe my green page. You guys, I have missed everyone's live streams. I have not been able to do anybody. I haven't been, I haven't been any on anybody's live streams. You only got one of like five magazines from Recycle Bank. Well, go in. Okay, Malia, make sure. Listen, you've got to go into your your subscription part and activate it. I did that. I made that mistake too, Malia. Go into your subscription part and activate it. Maybe who? Ash, can you tell her how to do it? You've got to go in there and redeem your coupons. There's like a redeeming thing that I didn't. You know, I had gotten. I'd ordered a bunch, but I was like, why am I not getting them? And I hadn't redeemed my. I hadn't put my redeeming codes in my thing to activate it. So that might, maybe you were like me and did that. I mean, I don't know. So some of these images though, I've had for a long time. That was the other thing in my calamari. I started to like really let go of some images because some of them I was like attached to. It was ridiculous. You've been, you're doing lives, Kathy? Oh, that's exciting. You're getting magazines you didn't even sign up for, Ash. Wow. You've been live streaming too, Malia? I've missed all of you guys. I'll have to make sure that I'm, I'm on. You have so many Recycle Bank magazines. Well, the one thing I started to do is I kind of flip through them, and if they have multiple images that, like, a lot of the fashion magazines have the same images over and over again. So I have been taking them down to, we have, like, a, a senior center not too far from here, and I've been taking them down to a, a senior center. I took some to, um, I took some to, uh, Guys, my bedroom is, I've got a door that's open and it, all of a sudden I may just lose all of my images and stuff because I need to fly out. Um, I've been giving them away if I don't, if I didn't, if I don't, if, if, if I look at, if I look through them quickly and the images look like they are going to be repetitive in other magazines, I am... I'm letting them go and giving them, giving them to somebody else, like, so that I'm not, because some of them are so nice. It's like, I don't need to tear all of them up. 
No, I'm getting like, huh, how many are you guys getting? I'm getting like six or eight. Six or eight a month. You're getting parenting magazines and you didn't sign up for them? Oh, that's so funny. You're out of editing space, so you're stuck doing lives? Well, that's good. Yeah, I have to make a video. I finished that project. Remember I told you guys I was in that challenge? Can I tell you? That project, for whatever reason, maybe it's just because of all the stuff I'm going through. It should have been a fast project. It wasn't. I'm kind of liking how it came out. I mean, I'm not married to it. So, you know, some of the projects I make, how many of you guys do this? Like, some of the projects that you're making, like, you really get attached to them. I get really attached to some of the ones I'm making, but that one, no, I, but I'm liking it. Uh, so she takes them to the exchange at the library. Jean says Architectural Digest and Veranda are a couple of her favorites. That's awesome. Yeah, I, so I, I haven't made that video. I've got to work on it because the video, I think, has to post by September 9th, and I have to mail some stuff out. But the project's been really quite interesting. I don't know if any of you guys watched that when I thought I was doing a video, but I was doing a live stream. Um, you're attached to one of your Love and Midori journals. I hear you. I get attached to stuff, too. Well, if any of you guys... If, Hi, Carla. How are you? How are you, my darling? I'm happy to see you. I've missed all of you guys. You have no idea. Um, so I'm kind of addicted to these. So these I don't give away, but I'm getting like, I get like every kind of mag. I get all kinds of magazines now. It's like, so this is the sort of stuff that I love. You may not like it, but I like it because it's like, it gives you so many options. I do try to check the back and see if there's something better. Oh, look at him. See? I don't care about him so much, but the pattern is cool. So I have to decide between the vertical pattern or wanting this big chunk of background. Well, I'm not going to decide right now. If I had a page to put it on, I'd decide. But I like her green. I might use her green on my green page. But I was kind of liking the green stripey thing. There's not really green stripes on this one. Mm. So for me, that's how, that's how it works. I'm like... I'm keeping my decorator magazines. Um, I, I do have some other ones that I really like. But happy to see you. Happy, happy, happy. I've missed all of you. You guys have no idea how much I've missed you. It's been ridiculous. So tell me, what is it that you feel... I have had, I will tell you, I have had some um, pretty exciting spiritual awakenings, which has been... Um, unexpected that I have had and I've it's been pretty that's been pretty amazing I mean aside from the the being in the now thing I mean of course being in the now is always good but um, but even beside that I've had some some really nice some really nice I call I always felt like an upgrade Okay, like a little upgrade. Well, I will tell you, all of this energetic stuff, so the earth, you guys can pipe in when you want, and if this is a little too woo-woo and esoteric for you, you guys can, like, um, <laughs> you guys can just say, oh, it's too woo-woo and esoteric for me. Um, so in the midst of, like, constantly looking within myself and obviously knowing that there was nothing outside of me, um, I have, I have been really focusing on, you know, just trying to say, stay in a place of peace. No matter what I'm going through, just trying to stay in a place of peace. And sometimes I'm really good at it, but I will tell you that Faced with my daughter's health challenges and some other things that are going on, it has been a little bit more um, challenging than say the average day. So as I'm focusing, I've asked myself like, how much can I handle? Like, how much can? How, what's my capacity? 
we all have our own capacity, right? Our own, what we feel like is our limit. And in that, in my meditation, I heard, you're limitless. You know, you're limitless, which we all know that too. But if you look at the limitlessness of it all, you think to yourself, I don't want to be limitless in, in chisel. I don't want to be limitless in conflict, you know? And so I thought, like back to changing my story thing, I thought, well, I think I'm going to focus on just being in a space of peace, wherever I am, being in a space of peace. So the other day, maybe it's, maybe it's been about two weeks, maybe a little longer, um, I felt this tremendous, I've been focusing on rooting myself even deeper, like when we do our woo-woo, like focusing the roots of my body, the my column of light, the roots that are coming out of my feet and deep into the earth and coming out of my spine deep into the earth. I've been focusing on that, expanding those roots and making them bigger, expanding them and making them bigger so that my column of light and the beams that I'm, I'm rooting myself in is becoming bigger and wider and more substantial. And because I find that when I do that, I'm definitely less, I have less anxiety and less stress. And in doing it, I felt a tremendous heart opening. And sometimes I'm like, wow, how much more how much more can can you expand or can I expand? And I felt it even more. So it just goes to show you that just when we think we're to the limit of what we have, we can always have more. And so I don't know, you just I think you may feel it in the woo-woo. Well maybe woo-woo later on, I think you may feel it. So it's just been a really nice heart expansion. At least that's the way I feel. You know, it's been a really nice, nice heart expansion for me. So I think that all of you probably are going through it too. Wow, thank you. I'm sorry I'm not even looking up. Thank you. That's so generous. That is so generous. I will, but I will definitely, I think you will all figure it. I think you will all feel it. I think you will all feel it. Big feel it. I think you will. Because I'm not um, cutting my thing, going to my talking to myself, and I miss you so much too. You guys are make me cry. Thank you, Holly. So generous. So so generous. You have that up this Oprah magazine in your lap. Oh, you guys are gonna make me cry. I missed you guys so much. I have no idea. I also, so I've also like come to the realization. Thank you, Wally. I've also come to the realization that, for myself, that we may think that these connections that we have through crafting with trash, <laughs> crafting with um, crafting with recyclables, recyclables is something silly. But it's actually something incredibly profound because we've met each other in a way that we can be together and be who we really are without the the, the societal barriers of how we look, our socioeconomic situation, our, um, do you know what I mean? So, it's been, it's been, it's been really eye-opening for me to realize that it's so much bigger than, and so much more important, the connections that we make, not in, in a heart level. Does that make sense? And that they're not, they're, they can be common if you allow them, but we don't always. Good night, Julie.
That's what made me cry. How much does it really make me cry today? I guess I wasn't living in the moment with that promise, right? Thank you. Thank you, Lolly. Uh, I feel like you guys are my family, too. And I feel like I've really, I mean, I have really, I've really missed you. I mean, and I know that, I mean, I've actually met Kate, so. <laughs> um, I know I haven't really met you guys in person, but I feel like, like, I really felt like part of me was missing. All this time that I haven't been streaming and seeing you guys, I felt like a part of me has been missing. And so, do and try to explain that to somebody who's never had this experience. Like, who's never had the experience of, like, hanging out and crafting the trash and talking about whatever comes to our mind on whatever we do. Big hugs, Patricia. Big, big, big hugs. It is important. It is so important, you guys. And don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted one minute, you know? I think for myself, like, I don't even know why I started. I, I was trying to think about it the other day. The only reason I started my YouTube channel was because of this friend who was, who wanted to, who was, who was, who actually had a really terrible experience in a crafting group on Facebook, and they were like, super not nice to her, and I don't know, it's a bunch of shizzle went down, and you know, guys, I don't have time for that in my life, I don't have time for, like, that sort of energy, I just don't, and so a bunch of shizzle went down, and, and just like a few years ago, I mean, I have watched YouTube, and stuff like that wasn't like, but I never ever had an, any sort of inkling and in wanting to make any videos or anything like that, and this friend of mine, she was having some shizzle with a YouTube, with a Facebook group, and, um, there is a strong pond spotty, I totally, well, I love you guys, thanks for giving me a thumbs up, I've missed you guys so much, I have no idea, it's been ridiculous, so, I made these videos, so I have been making, I told you guys my junk journaling stories, where I've made my kids junk journals, because we make each other presents for Christmas and all that. And she said, oh, you make a how to make junk journal video because she had this paper crafting group and some people in there. And she wasn't a junk journaler. She was a um, little scrapbooker. And she made more, she made more beautiful things, you know, and me. I, not that things that I make aren't beautiful, but, you know, it's not like a traditional, like, prima paper crafting thing. So I made the videos for that. And... My live streaming came because my daughter, my oldest daughter, who, she's an amazing artist herself. And she um, was here, and she's really, she works, does a bunch of, she works online, and anyway, she's like super, she's on like in China. She's like super social media savvy or whatever, and I was making YouTube videos. She says, Mom, why don't you just do YouTube live? And I was like, I don't know. Why would I do that? And she's like, well, why not? You know, and I was like, I don't even know how. So she's like sitting in the living room. The next thing you know, it was going to set up to do a video. The next thing you know, she had to turn on my camera. She'd done it all, and I was doing a live a live stream. And I was using a an actual still camera, which I, which I could I'll find it. And it had like an auto, um, I let it go because it, I still have a camera, but I let go of using it because the auto, it had a, had a really cool zoom in and out, but the autofocus would, wouldn't last. And so, anyway, so she turned it on. I've been doing these live streams ever since. And then they sort of like snowballed into like, you know, from one day to a week to two days a week. And then, I don't know. It's been, um, it's been a real, for me, a, an amazing journey of getting to know all of you, and I'm appreciative. Aw, Jane, you're so wise. Jane says, the universal consciousness needs good energy. That's why we're all brought together here. I agree with you, 100%. 
I missed what you were saying, Austin, to Malia about what happened. Because my, my computer's kind of far away from me now. It's hard for me to see. Oh, there you're healing. That's Malia. It does. It helps my soul, too. It heals me. Oh, Kara, I love you. I'm glad that I'm, I'm touched that you think I, that I, um, inspired you, but I think that it was just the love that you have inside of you just waiting to blossom and give because you're such a giver. Your next, your next, um, auction, I'll send you something. I just couldn't. You guys, I'm going to have to shut my door. Give me a second. my privacy is done. I think they are all back. But with that, before we can do some, maybe we can do some woo-woo if you guys would like to do meditation. Um, oh, I love you, Angela. Thanks for hanging out here. You know, Cheryl, just go to, if you want to subscribe to anybody that's in the chat, all you need to do is go, go to the right of their name and there'll be three buttons and it'll take you to their channel to subscribe. I love you, Trish. So let's do some woo-woo and I know it's not as long as my normal streams, but I have a house full and I think they've all come home. I hear the creaking of the door and the dog barking. <laughs> That's always a sure sign. The creaking of the door and the dog barking. No, thanks, Lynn. You know what? I love you guys so much. Oh, good. There you go. Scotty put Malia's channel right there. You guys can go subscribe. Hi, Jude. Missed you, too. It's just nice to hang out with you guys. I love you. I hope you guys know how much I do. Oh, look. I even found a meditating girl. She's on one of my pages. So for those of you that want to stay for the energy work, we're going to do, and, and, and please, I mean, I always enjoy your feedback. I'm going to do um, a little meditation, probably about 10, 15 minutes. Um, Susan Patty Popo lovingly calls it the woo-woo. <laughs> so we're going to do the woo-woo. Oh, good night, Joni. Big love. Thank you for being here. So, for those of you that want to get any, um, if you want, if you want um, empowered water, go grab your. Hi, Artie Girl, Marilyn. Yeah, meditation. Go grab some water. Um, somebody asked me, what, why do the water? Our energy infused water. You don't have to, but you know, our bodies are primarily made up of water, and water flows through energy. Energy flows through water easily, it carries a strong vibration. My intention is for always all of you to feel love and support. Good night, Carla. Big love, love and support, and to feel, um, you know. To come into your own, align with your highest and best potential, whatever that is, because we're all different, so it's going to be different for each one of us. So as we, as the energy flows through, and you'll feel it, um, some people feel it different ways. Some people feel it. Some people have a sensa physical sensation. Some people may hear something. Some people just know it. And every, but there's no right or wrong. And so the water itself picks up that vibration. And then as you drink it during the week, you will be right back in that energy or can be in that energy flow or, you know, current in that energy flow. So everybody go get, if you want a glass of water, go get it. We'll wait a couple seconds and then we'll start. And if those of you that are mildly interested, but don't know if this is something for you, 
all you need to do is just say you don't want to receive the energy work, but you can hang out and be in the experience in meditation. And you receive what you need anyway, even if you don't want that energy work you receive, you'll receive a feeling of peace, okay? But all of this works with conscious consent. So if you don't, if you're not, if you don't consent, then you don't receive it. You're doing the woo-woo? Okay, Cheryl. <laughs> you guys just go get your water. Don't worry, I'm not going to start without you. Just tell me when you're back. And if anybody has, sees Joyce, will you tell her, ask her if she still needs my, needs some unicorns. I'll try to messenger her, messenger her. <laughs> your grab, grabs a gallon of water. Oh, you're so funny. Night, Malia. Love you. Love, love, love you. Amber Lee, how are you? We're getting ready to do the woo-woo, girl. Go grab your, go grab your water. I'm going to get mine. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. See, this is what I get for crying. I get a little, I get a little weepy. Um, you doing a little woo? Oh, good. If you fall asleep, it's fine. You receive what you need. There's no right or wrong. And so, <clears throat> don't judge it. Thank you, Jean, for your lovely words of wisdom today. I needed to hear them. <clears throat> and thank all of you for being here. And so showing me your love and your support. It's overwhelming. <clears throat> I'm so appreciated. So. Is everybody back? Hey, Liz. We're going to do the woo-woo. <clears throat> I have a whole house full of people in. Half of them are back. And the other half will be back in probably 20 minutes. So and hopefully my neighbor's going to go park his Harley. <clears throat> oh, Angela, I love you guys so much. You are just in time for the woo-woo. All right, you ready? I want you guys to put out an intention of what you need. Maybe it's to be more trusting. <clears throat> Maybe it's to be more loving, more peaceful. Put it in the positive of what you would like to receive, not <clears throat> of what you want to, like, like, like you, instead of saying, you know, I want to let go of stress, say I'd like to be more peaceful, or I'd like, <clears throat> or I'd like more financial abundance, or I'd like, I'd like to align with my higher purpose. <clears throat> I'd like to be more connected. I'd like to be, I'd like to feel <clears throat> the connections more strongly and deeply. 
<clears throat> Hi, Scarlett. How are you? So, put that out first. And, <clears throat> anyway, unfortunately, the dog is in the background, even though he's in the other room. She's in the other room. So we're getting ready to do our meditation. So for those of you who it's your first time, all you need to do to participate is inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. That's all you need to do. So put your intention out right now of what it is you'd like more of. More peace. Maybe it's abundant good health. Clarity. <clears throat> so. so here we go. <clears throat> Imagine yourself in a column of light. And when you look up, you can't see the end. And when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your column of light. It is unique to your being soul spirit. Allow your column of light to expand around your body, six feet in all directions. Give your column of light permission to go deep, deep, deep into the earth. Allow your column of light to grow deep tree root deep in the heart of the earth. Give your tree roots a chance to anchor themselves as deeply and as fully and as completely. As you can easily and effortlessly and enjoyably imagine. Let's ask the earth to bless us with her energy. I see this energy like beautiful golden light, but you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Let's invite this beautiful golden light energy, this beautiful earth energy up through your roots, up to your column of light. Feel it pouring in the bottom of your feet, filling your feet and ankles, calves and knees, thighs and hips. Feel it filling the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, Feel it filling your heart. Feel it filling every vertebra of your spine. Feel it filling your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your throat and neck, your face and head. And feel it fountaining out the top of your head. High as you can imagine. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. the moment to enjoy your connection to the earth. <clears throat> Allow yourself to focus on your column of light and follow it as far and wide as you can imagine above your head. Give your column of light the suggestion heart of creation, heart of the central sun, and with that your energy is right there. 
Give your column of light big roots above your head. Allow your column of light to anchor itself deep in the heart of the earth and deep in the heart of the creator creation energy, deep in the heart, this beautiful divine angelic realm, deep in the heart of the central sun. Let's ask this beautiful creator creation energy to share with us this divine vibration. I see this a beautiful silvery diamond light that you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful diamond light energy pouring through the top of your head. Feel it mixing with your energy and the earth's energy and spreading six feet in all directions. Feel it filling your head and face, your neck and throat, your shoulders, your arms, your wrists, your hands, and out of your finger. Feel it filling your chest, your back, your waist, your spine. Feel it filling your lower abdomen, the base of your spine and feel it pouring through your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles, expelling any and all excess out your tree roots deep in the heart of the earth. Ready, breathe in this beautiful, divine, creator, creation energy, this connection to the source, connection to the central sun. Ready, breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection <clears throat> to heaven and earth. Now I'd like us to focus on our heart and I'd like us to open a window there and we're going to allow to leave whatever it is, experiences and energies, old relationships, anything that no longer serves you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Allow your old story to leave. Anything you're willing to let go of in this moment. And you don't even need to know what it is. And on the inhale, I want you to breathe in and feel divine love and divine peace and divine joy. And on the exhale, you're going to let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Ready? Receive in love and release in love. Receive in love, release in love. Receive in love, and release in love. Focus on your next two energy centers, one in, your, one in your waist and the one in your throat. So you're focusing on your throat, your heart, and your waist. And breathe in and receive divine love, divine peace, divine joy. And on the exhale, let go of anything that doesn't work for you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Receive in love. Release in love. One more time. Receive in love. And release in love. Let's add two more points of light in our body. Let's focus on our lower abdomen our waist, our heart, our throat, and the center of our forehead. Receive peace, love, bliss, and joy, and release anything that no longer works for you. Ready? Receive in love. Receive 
สีธรรมาสีธรรมาAdd two more points of light from the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, heart, throat, center of your forehead, and the top of your head. Let it receive peace, love, bliss, and joy. And release anything that doesn't work for you. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Let's add two more points of connection. Let's add one foot below our feet, the base of our spine, our lower abdomen, waist, heart, throat, center of the forehead, top of your head, and one foot above your head. Receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, and divine joy. Receive in love, and release in love. Receive in love and release in love. Receive in love and release in love. One more time. Receive in love. And release in love. Let's add two more focuses of light, focal focus points of light in our column. Six feet below your feet, one foot below your feet, the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, your heart. Make sure your window is open so you can release. Your throat, the center of your forehead, the top of your head, one foot above your head, and six feet above your head, and all the points in between. Ready? Receive divine peace, divine love, divine bliss, and joy. Ready? Receive in love. Release in love. Let's add two more connections. Let's add the connection where we meet the heart of the earth. Six feet below our feet, one foot below our feet, the base of our spine, lower abdomen, waist, heart. Make sure your window is open. Throat, center of the forehead, top of the head, one foot above your head, six feet above your head, and the point where you are connected to the heart of the creator, creation energy. 
part of the central sun. Pray then and receive divine peace, divine joy, divine bliss, and love. Receive in love. Release in love. Receive in love. Release in love. to put one hand on your heart and one hand on your water. Focus on your hands and let me know when you feel it. I'd like you to put your hand on your heart and I'd like you to take your other hand and send it to any any place, person that could use a little extra boost now. Okay? Receive them love and give them love. Now I'd like you to imagine an infinity symbol, the figure eight standing straight up. The top reaches the connection you have with the heart of creation, the heart of creator creation energy, the heart of the central sun. Feel that crossing through your heart and entering deep into the heart of the earth, crossing back through your heart and ending where it began. On the inhale, receive love from the divine source Creator creation energy, the heart of the central sun and the earth. And on the exhale, give love to the heart of creator creation energy, source, the heart of you, the heart of the central sun. Ready? Receive in love and give in love.
receive in love and give in love. Receive in love and give in love. One more time, receive in love and give in love. When you feel ready, take your time, open your eyes, and come back. And feel free to share anything you'd like. And there's no right or wrong. Or don't share. It's, it's up to you. Share or don't share. There's no rules. No right or wrong. Mm, thank you, Care. Love you, girl. This little saying was stuck to my elbow. Isn't that funny? I was like moving my papers around. It's always stuck to my elbow. I love you, Angela. Love you, Scotty. You're be my prayers, girl. Very emotional. I've been emotional too today, Jean. Thank you for your love and your support. I love you, Jess. Girl, lurk away. I'm glad you're here. Love you, girl. I'm going to come over and watch your stream soon. I just haven't had the chance, but I will. Hi, Jane. Love you, girl. Lots of releasing. Oh, good, Angela. I, I, believe me, I can relate. Oh, I love you, Jess. Girl, I know what it's like. When I I'm sometimes when I watch your chat, sometimes I can't chat. It's like if, especially if I'm working. I get it, girl. I love you. You feel light as a feather? Ooh, no, lighter than air. <laughs> so can you feel the upgrade? I can't exactly explain it to you except that I know that I've expanded and I know you all have too. Oh, I'm so glad, Cheryl. Know that I love you guys. I am here. You can always chat. Send me a message if you if you want. Holly, thank you so much. I will. I'm going to try and do it on Tuesday. I can't promise. I've got so much going on. I cannot promise. But I'm going to try this another day this week. Jane says she's got a new keyboard and her fingers are flying. Oh, you're feeling great. Ooh, good. I'm glad, Jane. Your brain is fuzzy. you got a lot going on, Care. Just release. Ash says she saw lots of colors. Ooh, each one at a different point. Good job. So a spirit horse, so oh, beautiful, so beautiful. I'm gonna everybody go make sure you join Care and for her her auction tomorrow, and you can do some absentee bidding. And Lynn Lynn gave the link for that. You feel warm love. Oh, we love you, Jess. Oh, awesome, Marilyn. Purple. Ooh, that sounds so nice. Purple, love that. Justice journals are, are over the top. <laughs> Jane, we're happy for you. We love you. I'm so happy to see you, Liz. Oh, Cheryl, that's great. You felt some pain release. That's so good. Oh, Misty, I'm sending you love, Mama. We are sending you so much love. Yay, dude. I love you, girl. Okay, Jess is streaming tomorrow if anybody wants to meet her. Love you, Patricia. Prayers to you, Misty. Love you, Scotty. Hang in there. Hang in there, girl. I'm sending you so much love. Oh, I'm glad, Amberly. I love you, girls. Love you, Jean. All right, my lovelies, I hear my company is in the other room. It'll only be a matter of moments before someone knocks on my door because they don't know where I am because I'm hiding. Know that I love you. We are all connected. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. I send it to you every day. Know that you're always in my thoughts and prayers. 
And I know that I love you. And uh, can you hear the dogs already started? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Liz, you got here for the best. Oh, it's awesome. It wasn't planned, you guys. If I was going to plan, I would have. I didn't even post it in our Facebook group. All right. I love you, girls. I will see you. Don't forget to join Kara tomorrow for her um, for her auction at 2 p.m. Eastern. And Jessica is also going to be streaming tomorrow at 4. So Kara at 2 and Jessica at 4. And you can also do some absentee bidding, so don't forget. All right. I love you, girls. And it is the truth. The truth is I have never left you. I love you, girls. I will see you soon, I hope. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. I love you.